Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of Tesla, recently made an exciting announcement that is set to transform the future of electric vehicles. Musk revealed a special new battery technology that boasts never-before-seen features, including a 20% increase in energy density and a 50% reduction in production costs. This breakthrough technology is a significant milestone in the development of electric vehicles as it addresses some of the most critical challenges faced by the industry, such as range anxiety and affordability. With this new battery, electric vehicles will be able to travel longer distances on a single charge and become more affordable, making them accessible to a broader range of consumers. The implications of this technology are far-reaching, and it has the potential to accelerate the transition to a sustainable energy future. So what is this battery made out of, and will it deliver on the promises that Musk has made for the future of EVs? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Lithium polymer battery, often referred to as LiPo, is a rechargeable battery technology that has gained immense popularity in recent years due to its superior performance and versatility. It uses a polymer electrolyte, which is a solid-state material, as opposed to the traditional liquid electrolyte used in other battery types. So what exactly is lithium polymer? A lithium polymer battery is a type of rechargeable battery that uses a polymer electrolyte instead of a liquid electrolyte. It is a type of lithium-ion battery, which is commonly used in portable electronic devices such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops. LiPo batteries are known for their high energy density, low self-discharge rate, and relatively long cycle life. They are also known for their ability to be manufactured in a variety of shapes and sizes, which makes them ideal for use in small and lightweight devices. However, LiPo batteries can be more sensitive to overcharging, over-discharging, and physical damage compared to other types of batteries. So proper handling and charging procedures are important to ensure their safety and longevity. So how much does this kind of battery cost? The price of a lithium polymer battery can vary widely depending on factors such as its capacity, voltage, and size. Additionally, prices can vary depending on the manufacturer, seller, and market conditions. As of our source cutoff in September of 2021, 2021, the price of a typical LiPo battery for a consumer electronic device ranged from $5 to $50 US. The price of LiPo batteries used in electric vehicles is generally much higher than those used in consumer electronics due to the larger size and higher capacity required for EVs. The price of a lithium polymer battery pack for an EV was estimated to be around $100 to $200 per kilowatt hour of storage capacity. This means that a typical EV battery pack with a capacity of 50 to 100 kilowatt hours could cost anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000 US. However, prices can vary widely depending on the specific battery technology, manufacturing process, and supply chain factors. However, it's worth noting that the prices of both types of battery have been steadily declining in recent years due to the advancements in manufacturing processes and increased competition in the market. As a result, the price difference between lithium polymer and lithium ion batteries has become less pronounced. Ultimately, the choice between these two battery types will depend on the specific requirements of the device and the user's budget. Let's compare some advantages and disadvantages of LiPo and lithium ion batteries. The qualities of LiPo batteries are suited to thin smartphones, tablets, and wearables. While LiPo made a splash in radio-controlled hobbies and still remains an option, lithium ion is making a return due to its better discharge abilities. While pouch-type standard lithium ion batteries exist, they still require external casing to prevent expansion that would otherwise become a performance and safety issue. Current LiPo batteries are actually more of a half step away from lithium ion batteries, as they don't use a true lithium polymer solid, as the original Bell Laboratory designs of the 1970s had, because these solid polymers don't perform well at room temperature. 
Both battery types use the same materials for cathodes and anodes. The real internal difference between the two is that the insulator between the electrodes is made of a microporous polymer in LiPo rather than the traditional porous film separator used for lithium ion. The choice between lithium ion and LiPo depends on the application it's being chosen for. Today, LiPo's batteries have a shorter shelf life but a longer self-discharge time. Longer self-discharge makes them better for devices that might sit unused a few days here and there. LiPo also has a leg up in fitting tiny and slim form factors. On the other hand, LiPo has worse low temperature discharge than traditional lithium ion and discharging LiPo batteries to ultra low voltages can be dangerous. Deep, fast charges may cause expansion, combustion, or even explosion. Lithium-ion cells have better performance for very high drain uses. Both LiPo and lithium-ion batteries require special smart chargers and often require circuit protection for the safest use. So, what will the future of lithium polymer batteries look like? The future of EVs is bright, and lithium polymer batteries are set to play a significant role in the industry's growth. One of the most exciting developments in the LiPo battery industry is the announcement that Tesla's CEO Elon Musk plans to use this technology for the company's electric car batteries. Musk has announced that the new LiPo battery technology will be available in Tesla cars as early as 2024, offering an estimated 50% reduction in production costs compared to the current lithium-ion batteries. This reduction in cost is expected to make electric vehicles more accessible and affordable to the general public. Compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries, LiPo batteries have a higher energy density, meaning they can store more energy per unit weight. This increased energy density translates to a longer driving range for electric cars, making them more practical for daily use. LiPo batteries are also known for their longer lifespan and reduced self-discharge rate, resulting in lower maintenance costs and a better overall ownership experience. Furthermore, LiPo batteries have greater flexibility in terms of shape and size, enabling them to be integrated more efficiently into the design of electric cars. This flexibility opens up new possibilities for car manufacturers to create more aerodynamic and space-efficient vehicle designs, improving their performance and overall efficiency. In addition to Tesla, other car manufacturers are also investing in LiPo battery technology, with some already incorporating them into their electric vehicles. As this technology becomes more widespread, we can expect to see a significant increase in the production of electric cars, resulting in a more sustainable future for the transportation industry. In conclusion, the future of electric cars looks promising with the introduction of LiPo batteries. With their higher energy density, reduced production cost, and improved performance, LiPo batteries are set to revolutionize the electric vehicle industry, making electric cars more practical, accessible, and affordable for the masses. As the technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see more car manufacturers embrace LiPo batteries, driving the transition to a more sustainable transportation future. What are your thoughts on this new battery? Will it be able to replace lithium ion in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.